Allen, but it's not enough. That was Stark to Stark. <laughs> Easy to Angelino to start things off, but Penn State can't pull up the point. Cross court, speaking of good gets, how about that from Gunter? Julian Grimes in setting mode. A beauty to the outside to Merzik. Reed in the back court, but it's this second one. Merzik again hits that sharp. Fourth kill for Mendelssohn. Into the double block of Penn State goes the Terps attack. Merzik cross court. Yes. Set to not as quiet, still had four kills, but they've got to go back to her on the right side. She was phenomenal during set one. Hitting 259, and Jess Merzik. The Terps here by three. Mendelssohn into the tape. Russ coming in. Putting up solid numbers, hitting it over 360 coming into this match. Russ couldn't find it. Stayed on Penn State side. Mercy says, here it is, and there it goes. Cross court shot. The angles that she's able to get. Watch how sharp this is. When she turns around. Dowler looking to keep this surge going for the Terps. Izzy Stark going to Mercy. And now, second effort. There's that calmness there, denied the first time around. Mersic, little dance, little smile. Just Eight. painting that sideline. Beautiful, doesn't get much. And this group feeling good despite having a little fog delay here in State College. Their flight uh, delayed getting in, been able to have their pass and serve, albeit a bit abbreviated this afternoon. But looking good on this back to back endeavor as a road team in conference play in the Big Ten for the first time. And there's. The crowd getting into it after Merzik goes straight down. Impressive players in the country because she's able to hit shots like this in transition. Everyone knows she's getting this ball. She's got the strength to... Well, Stark had a couple of dump attempts into the net early last night, but able to get Penn State's offense untracked the more the night went on, in part by getting it to number nine. Just Merzik told us she's really never seen it a lot before the triple block, so... Certainly she's been up to the challenge thus far, already with four kills on eight swings. And how about going to her again? They're really good at reading the game and knowing when to come in and help. And he talked about what they want to achieve from it. And State getting its block up. Collier trying to go over the top that time. Down the line, Merzik. Big dig there from Morris. Free ball bump to the back. Stark running for Mendelssohn on the slot. Back to Merzik, trying to shove it down. That one will go. Picking apart the Ducks defense. Doing it in different ways, too. Going high hands, ripping it down the line, finding ways to score in tough situations. Well, last year for the Ducks, it's her second kill of the night, but also has three errors thus far. Mercy cross court. Morris. Nice dig. Set up for the back row. How about the contact from Jillian Grimes there for Penn State? And Mercy with a solo shutdown. Jillian Grimes is laying out for some of these plays. Fantastic reads all around for that player. And Jess Mercy in the front court. This block, full <laughs> solo stuff. Opportunity to seal the deal again here in the set. That'll work. Why not? Jess Merzik was sensational in this opening set. Of the Nittany Lions love it. A little more size, a little more physical than what they would see night in, night out before. Physicality is different in the Big Ten. You have players that are a lot bigger, they can hit a lot harder, jump higher. The Big Ten's the most physical conference. Well, certainly a lot of high quality, but the depth with this Conference now, a team's ranked in the top 25, and Merzik just continuing to mash away. When Merzik trying to make it consecutive set victories here in this battle of top 11 teams in the country, and Merzik means business up front. On this slide, has no middle coming in for help, and what a read makes every move that that opposing. 
Merzik paints another line. Backcourt has to identify that early on. That's now two balls that have fallen right on the back line. The community back to back to back ranked foes. That's what you get in the Big Ten, night in and night out, top to bottom. It is so tough. You're constantly playing ranked opponents. Merzik. And Omer watching his team get close in this set. And now an overpass. And Nittany Lions real close to another set. We got a little sneak preview, and let me tell you, that is one that you absolutely don't want to miss. And anytime Russ Rose is in it, you know it's going to be good. And again, that team so dynamic. And they're out to four consecutive national titles during part of that marvelous run out of the timeout.